Professor Jiman Lopo. So good afternoon, uh, good morning, and uh, good evening to all of you. Today, what I will discuss is all about bonds and their valuation. So meaning, uh, it is more on the key features of bonds, no? uh, bonds valuation, measuring of yield, and as assessing your risk. So very important here is to understand diba? about bonds no? in your FAR, uh, uh, accounting and reporting is you discuss more about bonds bonds payable also about uh, uh about investment in bonds but today it is more on the financial management tayo no so financial management of your bonds all right so meaning when you say bonds no what do you mean of bonds all right bonds is basically a long term debt instruments in which a borrower agrees to make payments of principals and interest on the specific dates to the holders of the bond. Very important, no? Diba, sabi sa inyo, when you say about bonds, yes, it is a long-term debt instrument. Yes, long-term siya, in which the borrower agrees to make payments of principal. So, you have here more on the payment of the principals, and at the same time, you have your interest. Diba? Ano nga yun? yung walang kamatayang PRT interest is equals to principals times rate and times time diba uh, diba in your in your high school or senior high uh, PRT alright meaning the holders of it no if you have if 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 you hold the instruments especially in terms of your uh, bonds diba very important here is you have a uh, certificate of it and if you are the issuer no you are entitled for the interest pag investor ka babayaran ka ng interest and then at the end of the uh, uh, the useful life of the asset or the useful life of uh, the bonds no or the maturity date of the bonds uh, you are entitled or you are yes you are entitled and then the 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 issuer will give you money ibabalik sa yung pera okay at the end of the maturity date okay not the useful life ha? sorry anyway so meaning so pag sinabi pa lang bonds no so bonds is of course long term debt all right so meaning so what uh, what do you mean of bonds or bonds instruments in a in, in a bond market so it is primarily traded no traded in the over the counter market yes the otc the market of it no and then most bonds are owned by and traded by uh, or among the large institutions, ba? So sa ating sa Pilipinas, no, in, in the Philippines, for some of the corporations, they, they, they issued bonds, ba? All right. Also the government issued bond, issued bonds, okay? So the Wall Street Journal in the US, no, reports the development in the treasury corporate at the same time you have your municipal market and that's basically your bond markets all right so meaning when you say about these bonds diba ito yung ating uh, natutunan sa in your financial accounting and reporting no magaling diyan si sir si prof albert rivera all right so sir albert diba sabi niya the key features of bonds is usually you have the par value so par value is basically your faced amount of the bonds no, which paid at the maturity so usually at uh, the par value of it is 1000 okay and after that you have your coupon interest rates no so stated in terms of the interest rate generally fixed or paid by the issuer and to be multiplied by the par value to get dollar or peso payment of interest all right take note of this no class no take note class that uh, if ever that you if you have if you are the bond holder no saan ka ba kikita kikita ka in terms of your interest uh, the issuer will give you interest diyan ka kikita no uh, in terms of the interest rate kailan mo makukuha yon depende if the bonds is serial if the bonds is term bonds so meaning Pag serial, series of payment ka, 
makaka-receive ka ng interest. But if it is a term bonds, meaning, okay, the last, the number three is the maturity date. Years until the bond must be repaid. Yes. Okay? Then also, you have the issue date. Okay? So, the issue date when the bonds was issued or when the bond was issued. And of course, you have also here yield to maturity. No? Meaning, rate of return earned on a bond held uh, until the maturity. So, it is also known as or also called as promise yield. Ayan. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng ating bonds. Okay? Alright. By the way, if you have question na, just comment na lang ha. Alright. So, what would be the effect of this in a call provision? So, very important also that in terms of the bonds, very important is the call or the provisions of it. No? So, it allows issuer to refund the bond issue if the rates decline or help the issuer but hurts the investors. Diba? Usapan nyo ganyan yung interest. How come that there's a call provision? So, meaning uh, the issuer allows issuer to refund the bond issue no? if rates will decline. And also, when you say about the call provisions, no, bad investors require higher yields on the callable bonds. So, diba? In terms of bonds, may callable siya. There is also a term bond, serial bond. So, madami tayong tinatawag na bonds. Alright. So, in many cases, no, callable bonds include a deferred call provisions and a declining call premium. Diba? Ano bang tinuro sa inyo sa FAR? Uh, diba? You discuss about discount and also you discuss about premium. Ganon din naman ito. No? So, you have a, uh, a call you have a premium and also you have discount. Okay? So, same lang yun ha, sa ating uh, sa far natin. Alright. So, meaning, in terms of the bonds, now, very important also to know the sinking fund. Okay. By the way, ano nga yung sinking fund class? Ano nga yung sinking fund? Diba? It is part of your far one which is your part of your cash. Yes. It is part of your cash is the sinking fund, meaning uh, cash under cash and cash equivalence as a long-term assets. Wherein, you are uh, parang nag-iipon ka sa Tagalog, no? uh, you, you, you save money just to pay for your bonds. Iyan ang ibig sabihin ng sinking fund, meaning you have a provision to pay off a loan over its life rather than uh, in terms of the maturity, okay? babayad ka no nagbabayad ka no uh, uh, na, uh, in the date of maturity so meaning parang pasiguro ka no uh, alam nyo ba class no in this pandemic uh, yung iba walang sinking fund walang contingency fund kaya de ba yung iba ay naapektuhan no yan so meaning very important if you uh, if, if you're part of this business is that you have a contingency fund you have also a uh, sinking fund of it. Okay? Ayan. Alright. Similar also to amortization on a term loan. Yes. No? It reduces also the risk to investors. It shortens also the average maturity. Alright. Kaya lang ang sabi. But not good for investors. Ayan. Of course, common sense naman, no? Pag bumaba ang ating rates, di ba? Of course, papangat yun, no? But not good for investors if rates decline now after the issuance all right so meaning what are or how are the sinking funds executed or executed or executed sorry so call x no the, the person is of it and, and if you have the issuer or issue at par for the sinking fund no likely to be used if rd meaning rate of the debt is below the coupon rate and the bond sell naman at a premium, di ba? Go back to our discussion in terms of premium and in terms of uh, discount, okay? And also, buy the bonds daw. So, you will buy the bonds on the open market. Likely to be used if RD is above the coupon rate and the bond sells at discount. Ano nga yun, sir? Na naalala nyo pa ba yun? In your FAR, di ba? Pag premium, if you are the issuer of it, you receive more than your payable, correct? Because you have a premium. 
How about naman in terms of discount? Diba? In terms of naman of discount is you receive less no? than, than, than actually you, uh, uh, you're payable. Okay, go back again to your FAR, ha? Financial Accounting and Reporting. Alright. Next naman. Next naman is all about the value of the financial assets. Take note of this one. Take note mo yung value zero to N, meaning cash flow. Sir, bakit po din yung divide? Diba? That is basically, anong tawag doon? It is a, what? Compounding or, dis, or, or discounting? It is a discounting because the cash flow is to be divided by 1 plus R. Sir, ano naman yung ibig sabihin ng compounding? Ang compounding is future uh, present value to future value. Meaning, again, yung walang kamatayan na PRT, 1 to be multiplied by 1 plus rate. Diba? Meaning, the present value kasi is to be parang uh, uh, you, you want to get the present value. Uh, you want to get the future value of your present value. That basically the uh, compounding. Ito naman the value of the assets of it is not a, uh, not not, not a uh, uh, compounding. Ano tawag dito? Discounting ito. Kasi pabalik tayo no? from cash flow, no? And then we compute for the present value. Okay? That's basically the value of the assets. Okay? All right. So other types of bonds. So of course, uh, in your far. We discuss about convertible bonds, diba? Maybe exchange for the common stock of the firm. Alright, what do you mean of this, sir? So, meaning, if you have a coupon rate, diba? Uh, if, if, if you have a coupon rate, uh, the convertible bonds may be exchanged. Alright, it, it may be exchanged for common stock of the firm at the holder's option. Okay? You have also here a uh, long-term option to buy stated number of shares of common stock. At a specified uh, a specified price, okay? Okay, medyo di ba class no? Parang pangat yung pangat yung ano? Uh, hindi siya basta sa putable bond. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, the the, the 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 putable bond is uh, allows holder to sell the bonds back to the companies prior to maturity. All right. You have also here income bond, no? Pays the interest. Alright, only when the interest is earned. Yan. So, only when the in interest is earned by the firm. And you have also here index bond. No? So, the interest rate paid is based on the rate of the inflation. So, madami tayong mga, mga types of bonds. So, in your far, you discuss pa about sinking, f uh, sorry, uh, serial bonds, mortgage bond. Uh, uh, term to maturity or term bonds. Diba? Ang dami pa natin yan. So, ganun naman. Okay. Alright. So, meaning, so, very important also is the features. No? Kaya lang, what is the opportunity cost of that capital? Okay. Uh, when we are now in the cost of capital, I will discuss about this. No? Meaning, I will discuss about the discount rate. I will discuss about the cost of capital no? or the opportunity cost of capital. No, and, and it is the rate that could be earned on alternative investment of equal risk. Okay, so RJ or RI is equals to R rate yan, ha? plus IP plus MRP plus DRP plus LP. Okay, so later, don't worry, medyo technical siya, but later, no, I will discuss to you yung pinaka simplest lang uh, in discussing it. Alright, yan, ito yan. Ha? So, meaning, let's say, what is the value of a 10 year 10% annual bond? If, if you are the meaning rate of the debt is 10%. Take note ha. Gusto mong malaman kung magkano ang N natin. Let's say you have a series of payment of 100. The value of B magkano? Okay, so 100 plus 1.10 minus 1. So meaning, the value, tingnan mo ha? That's the time value of money. When we are now in capital budgeting, I will discuss about time value of money. Why? Your money today no, will be different uh, or the value of it will be different 10 years from now. No? Wag na kayong lumayo pa. Diba? Wag na kayong lumayo pa. Diba? 
yung 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 value meal natin sa Jollibee, 'di ba? As, ta- uh, as time goes by, 'di ba? Nagmamahal. <laughs> That's the time value of money. Nagmamahal siya, okay? And at the same time, uh, yung value ng ating assets ay nagbabawas. Yan. Yan ang ibig sabihin nito, no? So meaning if you have 100 in the first year, 200 in this and then in, in the end year you have 1000, makano yung value mo? All right. So 100, of course, the value of it is 1000 since 1000 is the future value. Kaya lang, how do we compute for that? And isa-isa tayo. Okay, ano bang tawag doon, sir? To compute for the present value of 1. The sum of the present value of 1 is the present value of annuity of 1. Tama ba? Yes. Alright. So, uh, we will go to our discussion about present value of 1 and the present value of annuity of 1. Don't worry, no? In reality. Okay. So, meaning you have here 100 divided by 1.10, no? up to the 100 divided by 1.10 to the raise to 10 plus 1,000 1.10 okay as you notice the value of it is 1,000 but take note class no you can do that using your excel all right yan in reality pag kayo nagkatrabaho na pwede mo siyang gamitin using excel all right so meaning okay so paano yun sir this bond has 1,000 lump sum And you have the par value due at the maturity date of t is equal to 10. Uh, time in, ha? Okay. And the annual 100 coupon rate, all right? And the annual coupon rate beginning, or coupon payment, sorry, as t is to 1 and the continuing through, so meaning it is 10 years. All right. So, uh, the price of the bond, all right, can be found by solving the PV of this cash flows. All right. So, paano yun, sir? So, the gawin nyo sa Excel nyo ay uh, question mark, uh, question mark, equal sign, then uh, write PV. Yan. Tapos, uh, uh, open parenthesis, no? So, you have here point 10. Then, ano yung point 10? The point 10 here is basically your rate. Then, 10 is N. Then, uh, put 100. Ano yung 100? PMT. N- meaning, series of payment. Ano yung 1,000? 1,000 is the future value. Sige nga, try nyo nga. You should try, no, using your Excel. And for sure, the present value of that is 1,000. Okay? Nag- nagigets ba ako? Hopefully, nagigets ako, no? Uh, go back to your, uh, punta kayo sa Excel nyo and gawin nyo to, ha? Try nyo lang. Alright. Sige. Next. Next naman is, what is the value of the 10-year bond outstanding? Ito naman, iba. Uh, outstanding with the same risk but a 13% annual coupon rate. So, meaning you have the annual coupon rate is 130. Of course, uh, the interest niya. Ah, dede, sorry. You have a series of payment of 130. Tama din. No? I say you have 13%. Since the risk is the same, it has the same yield, to maturity at a previous bond of 10%. Kanina, di ba, we have 10%. Ito na ay 13%. So, this bond sells at a premium because the coupon rate, yes, di ba? Okay. Go back to your FAR. No? Pag malaki ang ating, di ba? Pag malaki ang ating effective rate, di ba? Meaning, it is basically, ah, sorry. Uh, yes, pag, mal- pag, pag malaki ang ating effective rate, it is, uh, Uh, it, it, it is it is a premium okay? alright so paano yun? again uh, question mark uh, question mark yun, question mark no? uh, equal sign next PV okay write PV open open parenthesis write point 10 point 10 is your nominal rate okay then you have 10 10 is the uh, n- number of years And you have series of payment of 130, and you have future value of 1,000. Magkano ba ang ating present value? 1,184.34. Okay? Alright. So, yan yung ating output. Alright. Again, class ha, if you have question, please uh, message me. Uh, pag kayo nalalabuan pa, no? Okay. Just message me. Okay? Alright.
Next naman is all about, okay, what is the value of 10-year bond outstanding with the same risk as 7%? So, kanina, uh, ito naman is, okay, ito naman ay discount na, di ba? Kasi mas maliit na yung coupon rate mo. If, if the annual coupon rate is 70, since the risk is the same, it has the same yield to the maturity as the previous bonds of 10%, no? This bond sells at a discount because the coupon rate is less than the yield to maturity. Same pa din, go to your Excel. So, uh, again, class, ha? In reality, if you are now working, yan ang gagawin nyo, no? Madali-madali na siya. I-report. Alright, so meaning, e e uh, is equal to PV, na open parenthesis, uh, 0 0.10, then 10, then uh, 10 is, again, same na kanina, number of years, then you have 70, 70 is the PMT, meaning series of payment, and also you have 1,000. 1,000 is the future value. Yan. So, magkano yung ating uh, present value? Our present value here is uh, 815.66. Sir, bakit pala negative? Bakit pala negative? Kasi nga, negative siya kasi it is an outflow. Okay? Outflow siya. Alright. Next. Changes in the bond value over time. As you notice kanina, di ba we have 13% coupon rate and 7% coupon rate. If you have 10%, 13% you have, you have premium. In the 7% you have a discount. No? What, yan. So what would happen to the value of these three bonds if the required rate of return remained at 10%? So ganun lang. Okay? Alright. So, bond values over time. So, ano nangyayari yan at, at a time, no? As, as time goes by. At sa maturity, the value of any bond must equal to the par value. Okay. Ano nga yung sinasabi sa inyo sa uh, accounting 1? Intermediate accounting 1? Mag-premium man yan or mag-discount man yan at the end of the maturity, kung isang milyon ang inyong uh, face amount, Okay. 1 million din, no? At the end of the maturity. Alright. Diba? Pag premium is mas malaki yung na-receive mo. If you're, if you're the issuer, no? As time goes by, it will become 1,000. Even if you are also a discount or if you have your uh, uh, bonds is discount, at the end of uh, the maturity date, no? It will go to the par value which is at 1,000, no? Or, or 1 million. Alright. So, the value of the premium bond would in decrease over time. Uh, diba? Far natin to, diba? In the accounting one, intact one. So, as time goes by, the premium will decrease until it will reach the 1,000. Also, the discount naman, baliktad, pa, pa, padagdag na naman, na, padagdag, para maging 1,000 siya. Okay? So, the value of this par bond stays at 1,000. Okay? Hopefully, naiintindihan to, ha? Alright. So, next. What is the yield to maturity on the following bonds? So, you have 10 year, 9%. Ito naman, yield to maturity, meaning, pababayaran mo siya at the end na, no? 1,000 par value selling for 887. 887, here's the value. So, must find the rate. So, ito naman, we will, uh, since given na ang ating present value, so, we need to compute for the rate Alright, paano yun, sir? Using the Excel na naman. Alright, so solving for IR, so meaning you will solve for the interest. Uh, the, the yield to maturity is already given. Alright? And, uh, this, this, and, and the, the bond sell at a discount because YTM is greater than the coupon rate. So meaning in your Excel, gagawin lang natin is just equal sign and rate. Okay? Then... Open parenthesis 10. Ano yung 10? 10 is the N. Then, uh, comma 19 is the payment terms. Comma is 887 is the present value since it's given na. And you have 1,000. So, magkano yung ating rate? Again na, try nyo sa bahay nyo. Try nyo sa Excel. Very good. The answer here is at 10.91. Meaning, pag sinabing 10.91, that's the interest. Okay? That's the interest we're in uh, uh, to be able for you to uh, to get the 887 present value. 
Okay. Uh, another problem. What if you have uh, N of 10 years? Alright. Again, 90. Payment terms of 90. Kaya lang, ang magbabago ngayon yung 7.0. Eh, ah, sorry. Ang magbabago ngayon is the present value. Kanina, di ba? 887 is the present value. Ito naman is 1134.20. Okay? So, payment terms, of course, is 90. Then, 1134.20 is the present value. Then, comma, 1000 is the future value. So, close parenthesis. So, magkano yung ating interest? Very good. 7.08. So, sa bahay nyo, hopefully, itatry nyo to. No? It's the 7.08. Okay? Hopefully, malinaw ha. Alright. So, next naman. Next naman is... Okay, so, uh, terms naman. No? So, what are the other formula to compute for this one? So, you have current yield or, or CY is equals to the annual coupon rate divided by current price. By the way, ha, please uh, uh, please listen ha, kasi I might give quiz for this one. Diba? And also, you have capital gains yield, change in price divided by beginning in price. And after that, if nakuha na natin yung current or expected, no, you have now your expected return is equals to or, or YTM is equals to expected CY alright uh, plus the expected CGY alright and so paano yun sir alright so an example what if you have current and capital gains yield again formula lang tayo no? so 90 90 is the interest and you divide it by the present value so makano yung ating current yield 10.15% So, ano yung formula? Interest Kasi nga, 1,000 times uh, 9% Times 12 divided by 12 So, 90 Then, present value of, of your stocks is 887 Okay? So, you have 10.15 Alright So, calculating naman the capital gains yield Since given na yung 10.91 Alright Then, you have capital gains yield of, of, for, of, of the 10.15 of the Eh, nung kanina, ha? Huwag malito, ha? Saan na galing yun? Ito yun, no? 10.15. Okay? Saan na galing yung 10.9? Uh, uh, given din yung kanina, ba? Na 10.91, kasi baka malito kayo. Ito yun, no? Uh, sorry. Saan na ba yun? Yan. Ito yun, no? 10.91. Okay? So, we use 10.91. Wala lang. Baka malito lang kayo. Given lang yun, ha? Yung 10.15 is yung ating, Okay? 10.91 minus 10.15 percent. Magkano yung CGY? 0.76. So, parang ito ay more on ano lang, solving the formula. Solving the formula in terms of the CGY, uh, capital gain yield, okay, the, uh, the maturity, and also current yield. Could also find the expected price one year from now and divide the change in price by the beginning price which give the same answer. Yes. So, same yung answer natin. Pag ganyan yung ating isosolve. Alright. So, meaning, uh, what is the price risk? So, in terms of this one, very important is the price risk. So, does a 1 year or 10 year bond have more price? Okay. So, gawin natin is the price risk is the concern that rising RD will cause the value of the bond to fall. As you notice, let's say you have your rate of 5, 10, 15, and you have a one-year change. So, diba, hanina, we, just, we, we compute for this one. If you have 1,048 as the um, as, as as the value of it, then you have 1,956. As you notice, makano yung difference? 4.8 and negative 4.4. And also, you have 10 year. Alright. So, meaning 1,386 and 1,749. So, 38.6 and you have negative 25.1. So, meaning, yan yung ating ginagawa sa ating price risk. As time goes by, pag, pag, bumab, pag tumataas yung ating rate, as you notice, bumababa ang ating value. Okay? So, the 10-year bond is more sensitive to the interest rate change, changes and hence has more price risk. Okay? Alright. So, in terms of the graph, sorry, in terms of the reinvestment pala, so, very important also that uh, in terms of these three investments, sorry. Yan, ito yung graph. Okay? So, graph, as you notice, you have 10-year bond and you have 1-year bond. So, meaning, yung gitna dyan, ayan yung ating equilibrium. Okay? Alright. 
But 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 before that, no. What do you mean of reinvestment? From the word itself, you reinvest. Okay? Invest again. Okay? So reinvestment risk is is the concern that R D will fall, and the future cash flows will have to be reinvested at the lower rate. No. Hence. Reducing your income. For example, oh, nanalo ka ng loto ng 500,000. You intend to invest the money and live off the interest. So, anong pipiliin mo? Sige nga. Nanalo ka sa loto ng 500,000. I-invest mo ba siya? Isahan lang or series of payment? Ayan. So, depende yan. Ha? Yan yung ibig sabihin na reinvestment risk example. So, dalo ba ang options mo? No? You may invest in either 10-year bond Or a series of ten year or 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 a series or a series of ten one year bonds. So both have have ten year and and also one year bond gonna yield at ten percent. So if you choose a one year bond strategy, meaning uh one year lang, you receive only fifty thousand in income and have five hundred thousand to reinvest. But if a one year rates fall to fifty three percent, your annual income would fall to fifteen percent fifteen thousand. If you choose the man a ten year bond, you can lock in a ten percent interest rate and fifty thousand annual income. Mas maganda parang ganon. So assuming you have a bond, it's not callable. The answer is yes. Mas maganda you have series of payment, okay? Or series of investment, okay? All right. So conclusions of this one, very important here is, uh, short term and or high coupon bonds, de ba? Price risk is low, the investment naman is high. Kasi nga short term to, na. While if it is a long term and are low coupon bonds, the price risk is high, while the investment is risk. So, ano conclusions? Nothing is riskless, of course. Lahat naman yun dapat pagdaan natin, de ba? De ba dapat may challenge sa lahat ng bagay. Yan. Okay. But you can do that in terms of the, uh, of the Excel. So, yeah. Pero ito ay what if tama semi annual na, okay? So you can do that based on the semi annual. What if semi annual naman yung atin payment? So take note, ha. Ah, pag semi annual, you will multiply by two years yung ating n n, no? Kung kung twelve years ka times two, magiging twenty four. Then divide nominal rate by by that by the two, no? And you have periodic interest. Then divide two by coupon. Sige, para maintindihan, ito yung sample natin kanina, di ba? So, meaning, di ba 10 years tayo, semi-annual to, so magiging 20. Then, the nominal rate, of course, to be divided by 2. From 13, magiging, what? Magiging na siyang 6.5. Then, divide also by 2 is the PMT. Hindi na siya 100, but 50. Future value, same pa din, 1,000. So we will compute for the present value of it. Same pa rin yung procedure, no? Is equals to PV open parenthesis zero point sixty five ah zero point six five sorry. Then we have twenty as n, then fifty as payment ah a series of payment. Then you have one thousand as your ah future value. How much would be your present value now? Eight hundred thirty four point seventy two. Ano nang yan ha? Class up pag may question kayo. Don't hesitate to message me. Okay. All right. What would you prefer to buy a ten-year bond or ten-year ten percent annual coupon bond or a ten-year ten percent semi-annual? Magkuha mo siya using again your your Excel, no? Paano yon? The semi-annual bond effective rate is ten point twenty-five. What is the formula? Effect effective interest rate is equals to R plus R nom. Divided by M and M, okay, minus one. So meaning, ang point ten jan is your nominal rate. Then, yung two jan is the basis semi annual tayo, okay. So you can use the month using your, ah, using your Excel. So is equals effect. Then point ten is your nominal. Then you have two, ah, as your ah semi annual semi annual sya. So you have ten point twenty five. So ten point twenty five is greater than ten. The annual bond effective rate would so you would prefer the semi annual. Okay. Ano lang yun ha? Or you can also use your again your Excel. 
So if you have semi-annual, so since you have 10.25 semi-annual, effective rate of the annual bond should earn the same EAR. Effective annual rate yan ha. This prices the annual semi-annual bonds as an equilibrium. So same lang. So again, is equals to PV, then rate, 10.25, then N, then 100 is the payment term, and FB naman, future value is 1,000. How much would be the uh, the present value of it? Very good. Negative 984.80. Okay? And ito din. Same na same kanina. Ito naman 8% na. Solving for the YTC. So, ito naman pala. Sorry. Ito naman is to solve for the rate. Uh, just have rate. Then 8N. Then 50 as the payment terms. Then, uh, comma, negative 1335.90 is that's the present value. Then, uh, comma, 1050 as the future value. How much is the rate? 3.568. Alright, so ganun lang. Okay. So meaning, very important here is the yield to call. No? So you have 3 point, as discussed kanina, 3.568 represents the periodic semi-annual yield to call. So since you have I, YTC of NOM or R NOM of 3.568 as, as discussed kanina, times 2 natin, so you have, kasi nga semi-annual siya, so you have 7.137. Is the rate that the broker would quote. No? So meaning, makana effective yield to call. So, as 1.03568 as discussed kanina minus 1 you have 7.26 or you can use Excel so X, uh, equal sign effect then open parenthesis 0 0.71 the rate alright then 2 2 because semi-annual so your answer here is at 7.26 okay naintindihan ba ha class naintindihan ba class hopefully yes ha alright so meaning if you bought this callable bonds, no? would you more likely to earn the YTM or YTC? Of course, the coupon rate is 10% compared to the YTC of 7.137. So the firm could raise money by selling new bonds which pay at 7.137. Okay? So could replace bonds paying 100 per year with the bonds paying only 71.37. So investors should expect a call or to earn the YTC of 7.137 rather than of the 8%. So, ganun yung gagawin natin, di ba? Especially in terms or if you have the YTD or if you have the YTC. Alright. So, ganun yung ating gagawin, no? Particularly in terms of the bonds. Particularly in terms of the yield to maturity also. Alright. Ayan. So, also, very important also to know, no? When, when is the call more likely to occur? No? So, in general, if a bond sells at a premium, again, mas malaki yung if you are the issuer, then the coupon rate is greater than the RDS. Okay? Or, sa call is more likely to expect to earn YTC on premium bonds and yield to maturity naman on the par and discount bonds. So, so go back to your discussion in FAR, ha? Ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin. Okay? Alright. So, next naman is, what do you mean of default risk? Ayan. So, meaning sa Tagalog, hindi ka, hindi ka nakapagbayad or hindi ka binayaran. So, default risk, if an issuer defaults, so, yung company, investors receive less than the promised return. Yes, di ba? Default na eh. Wala na pang bayad. Therefore, the expected return on the corporate and municipal bond is less than the promised return. Yes. So, influenced by the issuer's strength and the terms of the bond contract. Kaya medyo mag-iingat lang, no? If you are the investor, baka wala pambayad yung nag issue ng bond sa'yo. Alright. And also, you have, again, so, we discussed also in FAR, di ba? As discussed kanina, type of bonds, you have mortgage, debenture, subordinated uh, investment, and junk bonds, di ba? Mortgage, uh, mortgage yung, yung property mo sa bonds. Debentures naman, uh, unsecured, subordinated, meaning uh, unsecured pero may, 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 may meron naman attachment pero konti lang. Investment grade bonds, so yun yung mga AAA, BBB, C, yeah? and junk bonds, so meaning sunk bonds. Alright, so ito yan ha. So meaning, in terms of evaluating your default risk, alright. 
bond rating. So you have Moody's and you have S&P. Again, AAA, AAA, ABAA, BBB. Yan. So ang junk bonds naman, BAB, CAC. So meaning, bond ratings are designed to reflect the probability of the bond issue no? uh, if it is going to default. Diba? So yan ang ibig sabihin ng ating uh, uh, bond rating. No? Bond rating, sorry, yes, bond rating are, are designed to reflect the probability of the bond issue going into the default risk. Okay? Alright. So, paano yun? What are the factors naman that will affect the default? Hindi nakapagbayad. No? Financial performance, of course, debt ratio, more leverage, no? Ang dami mo na ang utang. Leverage, that's the debt ratio. You have also here times interest earned. Ano naman yung times interest earned? So, the times interest earned here is meaning ability by the company to pay for the interest. Yan yung tie-a-tie ratio. You have also here current ratio, current assets divided by your current liabilities. Okay? You have also here qualitative factors or bond contracts terms. No? Secured versus unsecured, di ba? Senior versus subordinated, no? guarantee or sinking fund or debt to maturity. So, madaming mga samples that will affect your um, mag-default yung company or issuer. Alright. Sa Tagalog, hindi na nakakapagbayad. <laughs> Alright. So, other factors naman that will affect your cost, your, your risk, no? So, miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous quality factors, di ba? You have earning stability. You have also regulatory environment. So, uh, pandemic, yes, di ba? Potential antitrust factors, liabilities. You have pensions. You have potential labor problems. Meaning, you will consider what? Systematic and unsystematic risk as discussed in our risk and return. Alright. Masakrap niyan kung bakrapsi pa. <laughs> yes, we will discuss this naman. Okay? The large organizations, the organizations occurs more, cur pr pr more frequently than liquidations. So, particularly in those instances where the business is worth more alive than dead. Diba? Ito yung nangyayari ngayon, di ba class? Because of the pandemic. Alright. Bankruptcy yung iba. Hindi may iwasan. Alright. So, we will discuss this naman bankruptcy later na, no? When we are now in the reorganization. So, I, I, I might skip this one pa. Alright. Yan. So, again, uh, as discussed also in your uh, accounting for partnership, di ba? They are also priority in terms of your claims. So, secured creditors from sales and sec or secured assets. You have trustee cost, cost, wages subject to limits, taxes, unfunded pension, so unsecured preferred. Okay, di ba? Sino yung unang babayaran? Creditors, di ba? Alright, then after that, si trustee, then si mga uh, utang natin sa salary, then taxes, of course, then if you have pension sa mga empleyado, then unsecured creditors, then preferred, and sino pinakahuli? Ordinary shareholders. Sila yung pinakahuli na babayaran. Alright. So, after that, we have now your, your organization. So, we will discuss this also when we are now in the reorganization. Basta it is more on reorganization uh, or in liquidation, unsecured creditors generally receive nothing. If you are unsecured, ha? Huh? Alright. Uh, if you are unsecured. So, this makes them uh, more willing uh, more willing to participate in terms of your organizations, no? Uh, even though their claims uh, are greatly scaled back, no? So, various groups of creditors vote on the reorganization plan if both the ma majority of the creditors and the judge approve. Now, the companies emerges from bankruptcy with the lower debts reduces or reduced interest charges and a chance for the success. So, Iyan ang ating discussion. So, it is more on the bonds or the debts. Okay? I think this is the last slide. No? Alright. So, again, uh, hopefully you, you learned about your bonds valuation. So, later I will discuss naman about equity valuations. Alright? Thank you and have a good day to all. Bye-bye.